How's it going everybody? Jesse here with Redefine FX and today I'll show you how to make these flipping tiles in Unreal Engine that gradually reveal a texture on the other side. This is a sample lesson from Niagara Motion where we take a deep dive into real-time motion design in Unreal Engine 5.4. You can learn everything about the course at redefinefx.com motion. So I'm starting with a blank scene and you can enable the motion design mode by clicking on this button. We need to create a nice beveled tile. I'll create a 2D rectangle shape. Hold shift to make it a perfect square. Center it in the origin and then you can scroll down to global bevel size and set that to 5 or even 10. And then we can go into the operator stack, add modifier, extrude. 10 centimeters looks about good. And if you want to add more segments in here, we can go back into the details and here you have global bevel subdivision. So let's try 16 and that smooths out the edge nicely. So now you can just click on create static mesh and save it as sm underscore tile. Save that. So here's my tile static mesh. I'll just drop it into the scene and we can hide the shape so it's not confusing. And so what do we need to accomplish right now? We actually need two material IDs, one on each side. And for that, we can go into the modeling mode, click on attributes down here, and we want to edit materials. You can expand this menu. And so here under materials, you can click on the plus sign to add another material to this object. And I'll just go to our materials folder and just assign some materials so the first one can be orange again and the other one can be blue. And so what I want to do now is assign the blue material to one of the sides. So let's say this one. So here it says assign active material. So my active material needs to be my MI Basic 2, which is the blue one. And now I have this brush selected. So I can just hold control and click and select all of the triangles that are on this side of the object. Make sure that you get the corners as well. And then you can just scroll down to material edits and say assign active material and click accept. So now if we get out of modeling mode into our motion design mode again, we now have a tile that has two different materials, one on each side. So now we can just continue with our standard setup that we're already familiar with. Actors, cloner, click, select it and center it in the origin. Select the tile and put it onto the cloner and delete the default cube. And so the blue side will be my texture side. So I can grab the tile and just rotate it minus 90 degrees on the Y. And I don't want any Z axis count. I only want X and Y 30 by 30 and lower the spacing here to maybe 80. That's too much. So 90. Let's try 88. I just want there to be a nice small gap between them. So 88 by 88. And let's click on Spawn Linked Effector. I don't want any offset. All I want is rotation to be flipped on the Y axis by 180, I believe. So if we just hit R and scale this effector, we already have our tiles beautifully flipping. So it's working. Very addictive to play with this, but now we can just add the materials. So I'll just right click here and make a new material. Let's call it M underscore world aligned. And you'll see why in a bit. Let's apply that material right here instead of the blue one. It says it's missing the Niagara usage flag. So let's open the material and just search Niagara and check used with Niagara meshed particles and that should get rid of that warning. And now what we need is a texture or any image that you would like to reveal. So I've already imported this Unreal Engine logo, which just looks like this. Now we need to right click and search for texture object. And then from this, we need to search for world aligned texture and we can pluck the XYZ texture to the base color. And now if you save this, if it's not updating in the viewport for you, just assign a different material to the tile and then assign the world align material again and it should update and it should work. Right, so now you have the texture tiling on the other side of the tiles. And if you wanna control the tiling here, you can just hit one 
to make a simple float and connect that to the texture size. And I ended up setting this to a thousand and just save that. And now the logo is much bigger, maybe even too big, right? So feel free to play with this, maybe set it to 750. And you can move the effector in the middle of the logo. Maybe we can go back into the cloner and give ourselves um, 50 by 50 tiles. Grab the effector and here you go. And you can still give the tiles random colors on the other side. So I can just copy this tile two more times and just give a, a gray color to this one and maybe the brighter orange to this one and set the mesh render mode to random. You have some nice randomly colored tiles, but they all have the same texture on the other side of them. And just a quick thing I also wanna show you is if you wanted the logo to be on each tile, then you would simply hit hold T and click to make a texture sample and just connect that directly to the base color, save. And now you'll have the logo applied to each tile individually, just like this.